We recently did a story on how women are catching up to men when it comes to earnings. And now, according to leasetrader.com, a popular car leasing website, more women than men under 30 are leasing luxury cars. Automakers are really taking notice. Cadillac out with a couple of recent ads like this one targeting women. And BMW also following suit. Well, Kelly McDonald is an auto marketing expert with McDonald Marketing. She's a new face to CNBC, so welcome, Kelly. She's also the author of How to Market to People Not Like You, which is currently available for order online. Kelly, good to have you on the show. I think it's a sign of the times when you've got ads like Joy is an exciting new fragrance from BMW, clearly targeting women. Why now? Why targeting women and how successful is this campaign? It's very successful. I think the timing is perfect because women are very conscious of fashion. There's even the word fashionista. And I think this has been fueled by things like sex in the city. Women want to have a great look. And that look is not just the clothing. It's a great haircut. It's a great handbag. It's the right makeup, the right clothes. And the, the car is just part of it. It's part of their total look. In fact, one woman, one young woman that I spoke to said, my car is an accessory. It's part of my look. So it's trying to get a luxury image, but you don't necessarily have to have a luxury earnings power. Is that the case? I mean, I guess because of uh, the, the hard economic times over the last couple of years, to what extent has leasing a luxury car become much more affordable to a much broader market? Absolutely. Leasing is a great way to go for anyone who aspires <laughs> to drive a vehicle, a luxury vehicle, at a very, very affordable price. And these young women are not only making money, they're smart about their money. They know that for the same price as purchasing a less expensive vehicle, they can drive through leasing a more luxurious vehicle. So why wouldn't that one woman want to do that? Particularly because her lifestyle might really be in the right mode for that right now. If she's young, she may not have children. Mm. Her needs may change as she's older and she might need to make a more practical choice with children. But right now she can get the vehicle that she wants and drive what she wants and it's very, very affordable. And it's I, the same payment as she'd be making for a, a less expensive vehicle. I, I got to ask you because luxury brands obviously go through, go through cycles, don't they? I mean, Louis Vuitton might be the flavor of the year, one year and then next time it might be Chanel or Coach or whatever. Amongst the luxury car brands, are women particularly focusing on one brand versus another? The most effort that I've seen targeting young women, uh, and especially with a sort of fashion and leasing sense, is BMW. And I think BMW has done an outstanding job of effectively targeting young women. Their leasing payments are right where they need to be. They have a great product, and they are their ads really seem to hit home with women. Uh, there's one with the shoe, you know, that's talking about your vehicle should be just like you know purchasing a great pair of Italian shoes. It's dead on with what women want and how women think. And again, their product matches up with the right payments. Really interesting story. I could certainly do with a BMW accessory. Thank you very much, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> now, do not miss Thank our you. coverage of GM's IPO, Talking of Cars. Uh, with that is going to kick off next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern in a special edition of Squawk On.